review. Let's go. It's the brew review. Let's go. It's the brew review. Everybody get your hands up for the brew review. Come on, everybody, let's dip it on back. Body, head, and cap. Show me what you got on that tap. Cause it's K Dog and Mr. GMC. Everybody here knows that it's BYOB. Tell me how it tastes. Tell me, tell me how it smells. Is it that old bud or that yang lang hell? But it's time to get it started, so we started off right. It's the brew review, so we're gonna party all night. Alright, what's going on guys and gals, and we are back for another fun edition of the Brew Review. And what we got for you today is something from Star Hill Brewery, it's called Snow Blind Double Bock. You are one sexy bitch, you know that? Oh, and yeah, you, know <laughs> you can see it's 12 oh. fluid ounces, and you get 7.5, or 7.7 .7 volume, found it in 1999, Charlottesville, Virginia. Virginia! So it's not too awful far down the road, down 81 from us. No, not Seasonal Double Bock, it's got like a military star like you see on M.A.S.H., Cool looking cap. We'll go to the neck. Full bodied smooth German style lager mm. with a perfect caramel malt flavor for winter. Interesting. And what? 11, 15, 17? It's expired. Shit! But yeah. A little quick rotisserie. It's not that far off. We're in nah, a couple months. What, January 26 is we're filming this. That's not yeah, so it'll probably be what? Maybe about March by the time you guys see yeah. this. Seasonal Doppelbach. Um, storyline to this one, uh, this along with the next three that we do are, uh, Christmas gifts from my in-laws, so much obliged. Uh, yeah, found in 1999, Charlottesville, Virginia, as you said, uh, brewed and bottled by Star Hill Brewing, LLC, Corset, Virginia. Visit them at www.starhill.com. Uh, they call it, they call this a logger. It's a Doppelbach lager, apparently. Doppelbanger? Doppelbanger lager. A full-body, smooth German-style lager with a perfect caramel malt flavor for the winter. Yes, I think you already said that. So, so, as tradition, as usual, and for the first time in over a month, we're going to do the opening of the cap test, the drink test, the draft test, the after work test, all that good stuff. Yes! So, without further ado... Now, yeah, this is the first time in a while that we've actually had to try and open... Yeah, can we open it now? No, we can't! Come on, I've dripped off harder than that. Fortunately, we have the tool. That'd be funny if it foamed out as we opened it. Well, I'll open it. If it does, then I know. I, I know. We're going to be slow about this. Oh, you like that, don't you, bitch? Sorry. <laughs> I've probably scared away the new subscribers by now. Probably. <coughs> Smells dark. Yeah, I mean, it does have a very stout smell to it. Yeah, for a Doppelbach. Uh, Doppelbachs are normally like your German style lager, so. It's German, I guess. Well, yeah, it's um. Yeah, German style lager. <coughs> Jesus Christ, it's German style lager. That's what double lager is. I'm just gonna go ahead and drink it. Right to the point. Mm -hmm. What's the content on this? 7.7. 7.7. Well, so yeah. it it's rather. It's. It's potent. Potent. Yeah, that's what, that's what I was thinking about. It tastes dark. But a good kind of dark. It's not overly stouty. Mm -mm. You taste the alcohol. So it's not like what Peg Leg and, no. and Tarhead this, was. This is what you call a, star, <coughs> a starter beer. This is what you start with and then switch to something else. So Star Hill Brewery, Snow Blind Double Bock. Let's try it. Snow Blind Double Bock! Flavor burst? And flavor burst. It's surprisingly smooth for what it is. Mm 
I'm actually interested to see how dark it is. Uh, you, you get an aftertaste, and it disappears almost right away. Yeah, but, I mean, it's good. It goes down smooth. I like it. Yeah, so do I. So let's see. Oh, it's, it's fairly dark. Yeah, which we kind of guessed that. Yeah, it definitely tastes what it looks like. Or looks how it tastes. One or the other. One of those other. It's, it's not too bad. We'll go ahead and give you the close-up of it. As I get behind the camera here. And be careful not to drop it. Don't drop it! We've never had one of those yet. That will suck when that happens. And I say when, because it will happen. Ugh. One of these days... It's not 30 weight, but it's dark. One of these days, you're going to take that glass, you're going to hold up that camera, we're going to drop it, and then the, the review's ruined. Mm. Still like, make for a good video, though. Tastes like candy. For those of you that don't know... Go back and watch uh, the episode of Sideshow Saturday where we get the candy burger. That's what I'm tasting right now. Yeah, because we, uh, well, it's already released as we're taping this. Yeah. <coughs> or shit, I'm confused. It's been out for a few weeks now. Mm -hmm. Let's just say that. But by the time we get done with this round of reviews here, we're going to be like two months ahead yeah. of the date. Um, so it's probably springtime by now. I don't know. You'll have to confirm or deny this. I think there's no difference between bottle and glass. I think it still goes down very smooth. Well, I have a theory. Well, then again, that last can beer I, I had a little bit of difference with mm. between can and glass. But I think, like, can to glass is irrelevant. Yeah, I could see that. But bottle to glass is different, so mm -hmm. we'll test that theory right here myself. Same fucking thing. Okay. Little inside joke. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> uh, so, what would you give the uh, the Doppelbach? The Star Hill Brewery Doppel, Snowblind Double Wine. Very respectable. I liked it. I'm going to say buy. good solid four and a half. I agree. I, I would, could buy a case, but I'm not going to drink it all at once. I would give it four and a half. Um, definitely six pack worthy. Hell, I got a six pack of it. This is what I got for Christmas. Um, I could see this as a variety pack. Yeah. Uh, handed to me at a party. It's good. It's nice and smooth. It's not harsh like most uh, dark beers. Beer, yeah, like most dark beers are. I like it. Now here's here's a new theory. Oh, I, here's a new theory I thought of. Say you're a veteran of Coors. You've been drinking that shit for 20 years, mm -hmm. and that was your go-to. Right. But you've never tried anything else other than that. This would be a good way to start. If you want to go into the craft beer world, it's a good starter beer. That's actually, so, yeah. Yeah, because it's got taste to it, but it's not harsh. Yes, you start off with this and you work your way up the peg leg. Very good analogy, dog. Very good analogy. You're almost so, like an expert. For the one, one time I'm not being redundant here in this series, there's your advice. You're almost a connoisseur of beers. That's right. Wow. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed tonight's episode featuring the... Star Hill Brewing Company. So we both agreed, down. four and a half. Four and a half. So I, hope you, and a half. so I hope you enjoyed Snowblind Double Buck. And yeah, we'll be back next week.